C. Blood. Blood is a highly specialized fluid connective tissue consisting of plasma, erythrocytes or red blood cells, RBC, leukocytes or white blood cells, WBC and platelets. Blood is the main circulatory fluid that helps in the transport of various substances. For more detail about blood, you will learn in chapters Body Fluids and Circulation. 3. Muscle Tissue Muscular tissue is a specialized tissue. It brings out all types of movements in the animal body, has great power of excitation and contraction. The muscular tissue is made up of greatly elongated muscle cells called muscle fibers or myocytes or sarcocytes. The muscle fibers are made up of minute fibrils called myofibrils. Muscle fibers contract, shorten in response to stimulation, then relax, lengthen and return to uncontracted state in a coordinated fashion. In general, muscles play an active role in all the movements of the body. Based on the structure and position in the body, muscles are of three types. 1. Skeletal muscle 2. Smooth muscle and 3. Cardiac muscle 1. Skeletal muscles The striated muscles are generally found attached to the skeleton except the muscles of tongue. Hence these muscles are called skeletal muscles. In a typical muscle such as biceps, striated, stripped skeletal muscle fibers are bundled together in a parallel fashion and it is enclosed by a tough connective tissue sheath. The straight muscles help in the movement of bones and body as a whole. 2. Smooth muscles The smooth muscles is composed of elongated spindle-shaped fibers with tapering ends and do not show striations. Smooth muscles are found in many parts such as dermis, iris and ciliary body of eye, wall of gut, ducts of glands, genital ducts, blood vessels and urinary bladder. It is independent of the will of the organism. Hence, it is also called involuntary muscle. 3. Cardiac muscles The muscles found in the wall of heart are called cardiac muscles. The presence of dark intercalated discs in specialized regions of the cell membranes of two adjacent fibers functions as boosters of contraction. Intercalated discs allow the wave of contraction to be transmitted from the one cardiac cell to the other. 4. Neural Tissue Neuron forms the structural and functional unit of nervous system. It is responsible for coordinating and controlling many body activities. Normally, the electrical impulse messages traveling through a neuron in one direction. The cells in the nervous tissue that generates and conduct impulses are called neurons or nerve cells. You will study in detail about neural tissue in chapter 21.